Good evening, everyone. My name's Heath Haskins, Code Primate, and this is Lumber Tycoon 2. Sorry, I've got my lighting kind of weird because my shirt is slightly green, so the green screen kind of blends in with the thing and makes it look all grayish, and then I like start to disappear like that, but that's okay. I think I think that's a kind of kind of a cool effect, so I'm gonna leave it. It's cool. I'm not gonna change my shirt or anything. Well, actually, <clears throat> maybe. Maybe. Because before I get started tonight, I have some things to read. Oh my goodness. Thank you so much for your letters. And yes, there's a there's a special one, by the way. Um, okay, so the first one, and I do just so you know, I do open these first just to pre-read through them and like get my bearings and make sure that I don't get surprised on camera. Um I know a lot of people will read them and it's like opening the box right then and there. I don't do that. I do screen everything. I want to make sure it's all family friendly. And I don't get surprises. <clears throat> the first one uh, doesn't say. Hmm. Where? Okay. Dear Code, hello. My name is Aiden. I have been subbed since fifty thousand uh, fifty k. I love the vids you make. <clears throat> I love the vids you make, and I love lumber. I am currently building a mansion, and it's a lot of work. My Roblox username is IOMQ underscore code, C O D E. If you can, um, may you give a shout out to Aiden Tube HD. That's A I D E N T U B E H D. Shout out to you, Aiden. I, I really am happy for your wife. Um, by the way, she is getting better. Uh, every day after I do my homework, I watch your newest videos and past videos. They make me laugh when you call for Steven and you're like, man, he's on vacation or dang, he's asleep. If you happen to join me, I might ask if you can help me build. I am friends with Blobby890, Jingle12, and Wolf Has Quack. They are very nice people. Here is a picture I drew for you and your wife. And then it's got like the little... It's the, um, it's the, the breast cancer awareness ribbons. Uh, here is a little bit about me. I love to play baseball and I l like to draw anime. So I hope you liked my letter. Can you write back to me soon? Can we collab? TTYS, talk to you soon. Love, Aiden. Aiden, thank you so much for your letter. I will try and write you back. Um, I don't want to make a promise, but like, thank you. Um, as far as a collab, my collabs are normally just like completely random and I'd have to like check out your channel first and it depends on like if your parents will allow it and just there's the whole bunch of other stuff that goes into it. So I'm not going to say no. So there's a maybe there, but we got to check out your channel first. The next one is by Royal Mail. It was uh, Air Mail. Par Aviar Royal Mail. So this one says, <clears throat> should I do it in an accent? I, I, I can try and do it in an accent, but I don't want to insult anybody. So, dear Code Primate slash Heath Haskins, my name is Harry H A R R I dot M Harry M Harry or Harem is it Harem Harry Harry M, and I hope that we could uh, collab another one. Uh, collab one day, and my Roblox name is Yali Y A L L I E underscore Y T, and I am from the UK, and I am 12 years old. My birthday is on the 26th of November, and my favorite Roblox game is Lumber Tycoon 2. P.S. If you want to send me uh, an email, it is dot at thank you and goodbye. Uh, my post box is and then on the back they drew um, it's in it's in colored pencil so I don't know how well it's going to show up but it's a large um, breast cancer awareness ribbon thank you so much thank you Harry appreciate it oh my gosh I love I love reading your guys's letters on um, on video and if you are interested in doing so, you can absolutely send me email or send me snail mail to this address right there. Code Primate PO Box 8004 SPFLD Missouri 65807. 
And then the last one was actually in a box, but like with all things, my children love to get into things and go through it with me. And it's from Magnum Developers. Magnum Developers, you guys are amazing. Elliot and Jack, you guys are awesome. Oh, by the way, in here, I'll, okay, I'll just read it. Hi Heath, welcome to the second letter. This time we come bearing gifts, including uh, included inside this package is one of our supporter welcome packages. We are sending these to all the people that have helped us and supported us during the development period of Western Redemption. However, I've added a few extra items in this package just for your so your family wouldn't feel left out. It includes two XL Western Redemption t-shirts, one large Western Redemption t-shirt, two kids Western Redemption t-shirts, one Magnum Developers notebook, four Magnum Developer stickers, and a lot of packing paper. You're probably wondering why I've included two XL shirts. Well, the t-shirt with the white sticker says number one, and the first t-shirt that was produced in Western Redemption branding. <clears throat> Hence uh, why the lettering was a little untidy as we were still perfecting the design, the design with the printing company. Red Guy, Weeby, Elliot, and I have been working hard at getting the game ready, and I am pleased to say that the time you re by the time you receive this package, our final release won't be far away. I am currently stuck using a laptop as my computer is having some issues, which is why I haven't been active over the last month. I and also why and also why we're delayed at releasing the game. But hey, what's new? I hope that you and your family are, are well, and that your wife is on the road to, is on the road to recovery. I'll keep you posted via messenger and uh, for the. I will keep you posted via messenger for any final release dates, but expect around Halloween time. Hope you enjoy the welcome package. Kind regards, Jack Adams Taylor, co-founder. Jack at and blah, 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 blah. I don't know if you want me to actually put your email out there or anything, but oh my gosh, I got this and my kids went crazy. They're like, they got us gifts. So the first thing that I got out of there was this amazing uh, Western Redemption mug. I don't know, is that going to be focused enough? But it has the train and the terrain silhouette all around it like that. That is awesome. It's got the little guy up there. See? Yay, Roblox guy doing some mining or climbing, something like that. I don't know if it's a color change, but that is an awesome train look, dude. I really like the silhouette on that. The next thing were uh, a couple of business cards. I saw these and they kind of dropped out of the letter thingy. That's amazing. I really like the print. They're very glossy. I don't know if you can, can you read those? Ah, maybe not, maybe not. And then I got four little stickers. One of these is definitely going on the back of my car. Magnum developers, boop, boop. And then the uh, the notebook my son took over. I can't find it anywhere, but I, they did try on the shirts. The shirts fit them perfectly. Um, my wife has not tried on the large shirt yet. She was sitting there like, I'm not putting that on. <laughs> I'm like, oh, oh, you don't have to, you don't have to. But she was very excited to get gifts as well. And she was excited. She's like, they sent me one? And she smiled, so. Um, this is mine right here with a great big logo on it yay so i'm gonna support them and wear it throughout this uh, episode we are we are already 10 minutes in uh is this the test t-shirt or is this the i can't tell oh uh, well anyhow i got like the first shirt and then i actually got the first print hang tight Oh, it smells like vinegar. Ooh, fresh print. Oh, the fresh print of Bel Air. <laughs> Get it? <laughs> oh, God. Steven. St help, Steven. No. Just no. Continue eating your donuts, then. Fine. I know. Union breaks, right? Yeah. All right. There we go. It's a little because it's brand new. Whew. There we go. So I will actually, I will start cycling this into my wardrobe 
and wearing it. And when people say, what's that? I'm going to be like, it's Western Redemption. Look out. And then that'll spark conversations about Roblox. Okay. Uh, thank you guys so much. Like, I, I cannot express it enough. If you guys have not seen it yet, Magnum Developers has a game called Western Redemption. And it's uh, based kind of like the Red Dead Redemption, but it's um, McLean's, McLean's Ranch. They've got a whole bunch of cool stuff in there. They've got trains, and they've got, uh, stuff. <laughs> There's a, like, when it finally releases, I will play it, and hopefully become the master of it, and then, you know, do things in there. Yee! I'm excited. So, um, I'll, I'll put a link to their game. Oh, oh, no promises, but link down in the description. All right, let's fade that off of there. Last chance. There it goes. If you missed it, just rewind a couple seconds. You'll be fine. All right. Now, what was I doing? Okay, last time we left off, I w Oh, Palm. Palm. So, um, I am in a private server. I tried to load into, like, four public servers, and nobody had this slot open. Like, there's this was just not available. Not even an option. So, I had to do private. I'm sorry. I know there was a lot of people that were like, God, oh my gosh, you're here! And I was like, ah, I gotta go. But that's, uh, that's the way it goes sometimes. Just sometimes. And we're, we're gonna get a good, ooh, what, 20, 20 minutes? Yeah, 20 minutes of build time. And I am going to get these palms done. This is, this is basically, I'm doing this because I'm waiting for Halloween. I'm ready for Halloween. Like, like the, the, Hall if you have not experienced the Lumber Tech into Halloween, it is amazing. And awesome, and you, you'll love it. Yeah, I promise. You will love it. It's awesome. Just because it's, like, so scary. I feel like I'm one of those really fast workers who's, like, slicing bread. Order up! And now! Whoops. Missed. Get back here. <laughs> there you go. Hit it, hit it, hit it! Oh, I was so close. And did I see another one? Yeah, there's two more over here. We are definitely going to make a palm bridge out of palms. And... Uh, the platforms I'm not too worried about, but... Come on. Oh, There's always some kind of little glitch where it, like, snags in between the build. Oh, oh, see? Right there. And last one. Oh, I missed! I missed again! Oh, goodness. Okay. I can't believe that. That... Okay. That little piece filled in like seven doors. Nice. Alright, let's grab this one. This is a little bit bigger piece. I'm gonna have to, like, put a way to get up there. Next. Come on. Oh, no, 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 no. Get in there, please. Please. Please! What? Why? No. No, thank you. Get in the thing. There it goes. Whew. And sweet. I can take these little pieces up there. Wink. Uh oh. Come on. Come on. Ugh. I dropped it. I dropped it. Yeah. Hmm. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on, come on, come on. That little gap is like messing me up. New. Oh, that thing's still going. Okay. It's good. And go. Go. There we go. There's probably a more efficient way to do this, but I mean, I like being in first person. And I don't know if you guys like the first person view or if you like third person view. Like, just so you know, this is first-person perspective, and then this is third-person perspective. I guess there's a second-person perspective would be like in that person's eyes looking at somebody else. Like, say say this is a person right here. This would be second person, right? It'd be you looking at the person, where you're disembodied. Like you're not you're not part of them. Like these two people are having a conversation. This is third. So little education for you. Oh gosh. My nose. 
Mm, no, 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 no. Oh, mm, no. It's, mm. <laughs> okay, we're good. <laughs> I felt a sneeze. Don't make fun of me. That's not funny. Mm. Don't, don't, do you ever get that every once in a while? Like, it's not a full-on sneeze, but you can feel it coming. Like it's oh, just about to sneeze, but you don't sneeze. Those are the worst. I would I would rather just sneeze than not sneeze at all. You know. Maybe I can just lift this up. Can I grab it? Yay! There we go. Come here, buddy. No, over here. There we go. And it's on my head. There we go. Oh, oh, stop, stop, stop. All right, this one should have two good pieces out of it. Whoa! And one more. That was totally wrong. And two more out of that one. And that one. Ooh, good spin. Good spin. All right. Drop that one off there. Drop this one off there. Drop this one over here. Come here, you. And... Baseball. Hockey. Ooh, home run. Three points. <laughs> By the way, I do mess up the, uh, the scores on purpose, just because it's fun for me. Mm -hmm. Oh wait, uh, yeah, it'll it'll be fine. No, 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 no. I want to open these all up, don't I? There we go. Open, open, open sesame. Open, 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 open. It's like shuffling cards. Okay, we gotta make sure that first one. You know what? Doesn't matter. We're, we're gonna place them all on the uh, the platforms. So here we go. Move. How are these going to place? Just like that. Oop. Move. Uh, turn, turn. So it's upside down. There we go. Not that it has to be upside down, but I just happen to be building these upside down whenever it happened. Move. Oh, gotta look down. Gotta look up. Uh oh, there we go. Move down, up. Move down, up. Now you might be asking, why? What am I doing with the down, up? You have to look at the ground first. Like you have to cast a ray into the ground, and then it will the the green will appear. If I don't look down, like for example, watch. If I try and move this, right, it doesn't appear anywhere. It's like. Where did the door go? I don't know where to place it. I don't I don't know what's going on with the script in the background, but there's no possible way to build until you look at a piece of the ground. Now, these mountains over here in the background, they count. So, see how I'm nothing there, nothing there, nothing there. and no, that still didn't work. Still not working? No. Nope. I guess it's got to be the ground. Ground. There it goes. See? And just place them up there. Move down up. I want to try and get them all on the platform itself. That way, um, they're not like attached to each other. Because if they attach to each other, then you're gonna have a hard time grabbing them from on top of the platform. Whoa, my hand was in the way. Move your hand, code. Get your hand down. A lot of you might be asking, well, Code, don't you already have a palm bridge? Yes, but it's not drivable, and it goes through rocks. So, this one is to alleviate the pain of having to run out there for every piece of wood. Like, this should be drivable once we get it out there. That's going to be amazing. It's going to take some time. Lots and lots of time. Oh, oh I'm not even... <clears throat> there we are. Glorious. And I'm probably going to have to make a second ladder thingy. Now, can we can we open this door? Open door. Whoa, 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 whoa. So I hit the open door, but it did not move. Now, if we place our mouse over the top of it, it should say closed door. Yep, it does. Now, if I hit um, move on this one. Move. 
that opens her up. Now I should be able to... Oh, goodness. See how these doors are down below the angular momentum? No, um, the, the level that I wanted them at. Wait, is that... Oh, that was right on the edge. I'm on the edge! All right, there we go. Boing. Oh, no! That was horribly off. So I gotta move that one again. Okay. Because it wasn't that far off. There we go. Nice overlap right there. Good job, code. Well done. And again, right there. Good overlap. Move this one. And... Oh, I can't see... Good overlap, right there. Does that complete all the ones that are hanging down? Yep, those are good. So now I can just grab these and grab them from this side. Good. Move. You wanna make sure each one of these is right because if you have one off by the time you get to the end, you're gonna be like, oh, I gotta do 273 doors over again. Uh, a lot of people were asking me, hey, how many ladders did you use for the um, for the gold bridge? Don't know. I have no clue. I've never counted it. And the way that I did it was I built up a ladder, right? And then I took a um, laser and I placed a laser just as close as I could to the ladder itself sideways. And then I went out there to where the, the thing was and I measured it. How even was it? If it was right on... That's the level that I started building at. So, I did not use an exact measurement. I don't know what it is. Do -do -do -do. And there we are. Uh, got to play a little bit of Fortnite with uh, Blue Locust last night. Very fun. Thank you, by the way. He also complimented me and said, I really liked your videos. Thank you. I mean, asked what he liked about him and it's the the calmness and the it just coming in here talking and building and that's what I like like this is this is the time that I get to come in here and build relax get away from the day you know there's there's plenty of stresses throughout everyone's day and I mean just even if you're just a kid you know you still have those stresses of school, of homework, of cleaning your room, of your brother or your sister annoying you. Um, there are some kids that have bigger stresses than others. And I won't go into like details or personal lives or anything like that, but just know that even if you feel completely stressed, there's always somebody out there who will listen, who will talk to you. So don't ever feel like you're alone, all right? A lot of the times people get stressed out because they think they're, they're, they're the only person that it's ever happened to or that they're the only person going through this thing that they're going through anyway. You're not alone. Nobody is. Um, there are other kids whose parents, grandparents, are going through cancer. And that's one of the things that me and my wife talked about whenever we were discussing whether or not to announce it on my channel and we came to the conclusion that yes we should announce it and yes we should make it a part because it gives you a voice it gives you the ability to comment and say share your story to tell us to tell others um, whether you want to or not that's up to you but <clears throat> it gives you a way to vent or to mourn or to express yourself so if you want to leave a comment about whatever you like I will respect it and absolutely all of us will respect it anytime I see hateful or mean comments I always take them down because it is not right for somebody to make fun of or to poke fun at somebody else's hardship um, one of the biggest things that I always try to encourage is be nice. Everyone, be nice. I say that all the time. I know that's one of my rules I'm a stickler for. And I'm sorry for that. I'm sorry I'm so nice. 
<laughs> no, I'm not. I'm not sorry for being nice one bit. I would, uh, I would much rather be nice than than anything. Just being nice is a good feeling. And think about what you've done today. Have you done something nice for someone else? One of, one of my biggest things back whenever I was in the Marine Corps was integrity. That was one of my biggest values. Um, doing the right thing for the right reason, even when nobody's watching. And I encourage you to do the same thing. If you see a piece of trash on the ground, pick it up. I mean, wash your hands afterwards, but there's so many times that I'll be walking through a parking lot or I'll be walking somewhere and I'll look at two, three, four people in front of me just walk right over a piece of trash. Like, I understand that there's, there's germs, there's all kinds of stuff that people worry about. But it's also, it's your community, it's your town, it's your place. Why are you letting others trash your place? And I encourage that for anyone. And if you if you have trash, don't throw it out the window while you're driving down the highway. That is the biggest thing that like makes me so mad. Ugh. There's a lot of things I could stress about in this world. I try not to. I really do try to not get onto people or not worry about too many things because that's that's one stress that I can't control. I can't control what other people do. Um, I can express my opinion about how I feel about that. And I never tell somebody that makes me angry. I always express myself like, hey, that upset me, that frustrated me, that did something else. But the the anger thing, that doesn't work. Just saying, I'm angry. That's Anger is a secondary emotion caused by some kind of first emotion. Either hurt, pain, frustrations, annoyance. Yeah, I'm talking to you little brothers and you little sisters and you big brothers and big sisters out there because my kids do it as well. Like they, they are so mean to each other. And it's, it's sibling rivalry. It happens, but wow. I mean, don't talk to your family any different than you would your best friend because they're closer than your best friend. And if you're mean to your brother or your sister, they're going to be with you for life. They're going to be the ones that are going to be there for every event. Be nice to them. Because you're going to need to count on them one day. And I mean... You're going to be up against the world. you got to have at least one person you can turn to, right? Now you still have your mom and your dad and whatever your situation is, there's always more people that you can turn to or you can talk to. Don't be afraid to express your feelings. Your mental health is much more important than worrying about how many Twitter followers you have or worrying about what somebody commented to you or sent you in a message or said to you in a chat. The way I see it is if somebody took the time out of their day to comment something mean on my channel, and it happens. In fact, it's probably going to happen in this video right now. Even as I'm talking, somebody is posting some kind of mean comment. And I can't stress about that. I can't control whether they did or did not say something mean to me. I know it's not true. And the fact that they took the time out of their day to digest my content, process it, 
and then express their con their comment to me. Did you not have anything better to do? If you don't like the content, I mean, you can absolutely click somewhere else or go anywhere else. I've always said this. You have a choice. You can stay and hang out and have fun, learn how to build, go play some lumber, or you can go watch anything else. I mean, you have the world of the internet. This is one of my biggest pet peeves is like, I've said that before. The internet is such a big place. Why would you take the time to pull somebody down or to degrade somebody or to say something negative or bad? Isn't the world a, like full and with enough of that? I mean, I just don't understand sometimes. But I digress. You guys are growing up in a world that us as parents, we didn't have the freedoms that are on the internet now. Like, even our laws can't catch up to the speed of technology. I mean, we're still using copyright acts from like, what, 1994? And the Fair Use Act, I mean, that, that was a game changer when that came around. Ooh, wrong ladder, wrong ladder. There we go, that's the one I needed. How far along are we? I keep having to lift up my coffee cup so I can see underneath. We are 30 minutes into the video. This is probably gonna be the last ladder I can place. Oh, nice. Look at that. Good progress. Especially with like reading letters and hanging out with you guys and talking. But I want to make sure that you, you know that your emotions are important and that you are important. And don't let anybody tell you any, any different. Because you are special. You are the only one of you there is. There's nobody else in the world that is like you. That did sound like Mr. Rogers. For all of those parents out there who don't know who Mr. Rogers is, um, <laughs> you are unique. You are the only one that's like you, and I like you just the way you are. That was a message delivered to me by Mr. Rogers. Still living on inside of me. I don't want to take his place. I never did. But I definitely want to pass on his message. Move, B. Can we close that door? Yeah, that's good. That one says open. Close. Cl oh. Close. 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 Now I would go back through and um, move and place back each one of these doors, but I don't need to. So I'm just going to go up here to the top. And then I'm gonna call it a night. Might even might even go look for some spook wood. I know it's a private server. There shouldn't be any spook wood. But the hunt is still up. If you happen to be in a private server and you find a piece of spook wood, take a picture of it. Hit the print screen button on your your screen. Show that it's a one person server. Like I need to see that it's a one person server or like it is a private server. Send it to me on Twitter, and I will tweet it to the world. Because I still have not seen a single picture of a private server with Spookwood in it. I don't think it's possible. Now, on that note, I've asked Defaultio. And Defaultio said, the private server is exactly like the public server. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe down below. Do all those cool things I'm supposed to call out at the end of the videos. Love you guys very much. Have a great night, and we'll talk to you very soon. Steven, is your break over? Outro. Yeah, after I say it, okay? Don't do it until I say the word, okay?
Thank you.